Greetings, my name is Yasin Aziz from Section 1. And I'm Omar Al Asal from Section 1. The Thief and the Dog is a famous fa novel written by an Egyptian Nobel Prize winning author. The novel was written in 1962, 10 years after the Egyptian Revolution. Moreover, the novel takes place after the Egyptian Revolution, which resulted in Gamal Abdel Nasser being pressed. The novel utilizes some major society themes such as female sexualization. That's right. Moreover, The Thief and the Dogs is a novel that explores the, fe the theme of female sexualization. The novel's only woman character is mistreated and is presented as a prostitute who has no morals. On the other hand, we specifically selected a award-winning cartoon which is drawn by Dua al Ad, which portrays a woman who is drawn on her back a QR code by a man, which in other words portrays women as objects. So Omar, how did you find the issues presented in the novel The Thief and the Dogs? Specifically in chapter 6 of The Thief and the Dogs, Mahfouz develops the theme of female sexualization through Said sayings. Said is described in Noor's clothes saying she is wearing a sexy frock which showed her arms and legs. Said comments on Noor's clothes in a disrespectful way saying fitted so tightly that it might have been stretch rubber. In chapter 6, Mahfouz uses lexical choice to describe Noor as sexy, which is a disrespectful way of describing someone rather than using a respective term for attractiveness. Said comments on Noor's, Noor's clothes saying it's tight, which is an unthoughtful and disrespectful way of describing someone's clothes. Said compares Noor's clothes as stretched rubber, saying it is very tight. This depicts that Said is a disrespectful and creepy guy. This also shows that Noor is portrayed as a prostitute in the eyes of Said. Through this excerpt, a theme of female sexualization is developed through Said's words and thoughts. The issue presented here is female sexualization. In addition, Said's, talk, Said's talking to Nawawiya after he believes she betrayed him and says this, I'm known to every inch of your being. Nawawiya, Nawawiya is Said's former wife who he hasn't talked to for 10 years. Mahfouz's choice of words highlights Said's revolting and sexual view of Nawawiya. He comments on her body and believes she's his most prized possession, which is objectifying her. Said is shown to be an unthoughtful and sickening person due to his words and thoughts about Nabawiya, who is his ex-wife. He seems to believe that just because she was his, was his wife before means that he owns her. Said's words and the way he is objectifying Nabawiya develop the theme of female sexualization. The theme of fe female sexualization is developed throughout the novel through Said's thoughts and sayings. Excellent explanation and analysis, Omar. I particularly like the evidence you provided to support your point. Thank you. How was the same issue presented in Dua al Ad's cartoon work? Dua, an award winning Egyptian cartoonist, addresses and develops the theme of female character sexualization through the visualization and illustration of the cartoon image. The cartoon picture shows the man painting a QR code on her back, showing the fact that women are selling themselves. The woman also had a price tag on her arm, showing she is put up for sale. The QR code shows that women are priced and are sold as prostitutes. On the other hand, the price on her hand indicates that they have a price on them and that they can easily be bought from anyone. This highlights the fact that anyone can buy women due to the lack of rights they have. This characterizes women as objects being sold. Some of the issues that are presented are that women uh, are up for sale and anyone can buy them at any time. They want as their personal prostitutes. This develops their lack of rights. In addition, the woman was half naked showing areas in her body that should be covered and not be used for more of <clears throat> and not used to show more than the makeup or red hair. These make her look good for being sold for a better value. Her body being naked shows how she is getting sold through her body parts. The fact that the woman has makeup and has her hair done shows how her looks may decide her value or price. This highlights the fact that women were used by men and selling themselves. As a result, they become prostitutes. This shows how women have surrendered and are selling themselves as they don't have rights. This issue that this image presents is that the women are naked but they are afraid to do anything since the men can overpower them. Moreover, the theme of female sexualization is developed through visualization and illustration of Dua's cartoon image. That's amazing. I thought your analysis of the cartoon was great. The way you explained how female sexualization is an issue then linked this to Dua al Ad's cartoon was brilliant. Thanks, Omar. So based on what we have found, where are the texts similar in the presentation of the issue? Well, both the novel and the cartoon present a particular issue that is female sexualization through art from the cartoon and text from the novel. 
Yes, that's right. In Dua Al Adli's cartoon, a bird in a suit presents an Egyptian man and he is drawing a QR code on her back, which depicts that she is for sale. However, in Mahfouz's novel, Said presents the theme of female sexualization through sayings and thoughts about his ex wife and Nur. I also think that the move towards those who experience female sexualization is discourteous. Do you agree? I certainly do. However, the tone is slightly different. Mahfouz is more matter of a fact just presenting the issue of female sexualization. In simple language, Do Al Adli is a more critical portraying female sexualization and a sickening issue. That's true. Where else is the text differentialized? Well, I think that Mahfouz is able to capture female sexualization in a first and third person point of view. On the other hand, it is more difficult for Dua to do this as her text is visual cartoon art. You're correct. I guess this is where the thief and the dogs has advantages. But visual cartoons can also be very emotional, moving and reach a large audience since it presents an issue many women face anyways. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Tuning in next time for more interesting analysis. Yes, hopefully Mr. Hopkins doesn't put an assignment like this again.